sitting outside. I'm sitting outside, so I'm not just in the house by myself. Mary's, Mary's doing some yard work. She's definitely starting to feel a little bit better now, for sure. <clears throat> She's I'm trying to think how many days ahead she is. In. She probably go four, six, four days. Is that right? Four? No, probably four than that. I think she got it. She started feeling symptoms, probably. Like Saturday or Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, she's about four or five days ahead of me, so. I got, I got a bit to go, a bit to go. I'm just gonna rest out here in the fresh air. It's kinda nice, yeah. So I'm outside, I'm outside, because I figured some fresh air might be nice. <clears throat> I don't know what day I'm on now. It is the 22nd, 23rd, 23rd. Feels like I've had this forever. I think I'm slowly, slowly past some of it, but I wanted to talk to you guys because um, I'm outside now and I need to do something. I've been sitting in there for way too, way too long. Um, so like day one and two before I even tested positive was like sore throat, and uh, the night of day two to the to the third day was probably the worst for sore throat, and it was like honestly like 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 right in the back of your neck. Like right where your mouth goes into your throat, <clears> throat> it was like there's like razor blades there. It was it was brutal bad. It was that was that was not good. Apple apple juice. Um, <clears throat> along with that was also the headaches, because can't have one without the other. Headaches is good. And then on the third, which is actually the day that I tested positive, was when the kind of the head cold. And the chest cold came in. <clears throat> and uh, both of those are slowly starting to cut back a little bit, which is, which is nice. But um, still there, you can kind of hear it constantly coughing stuff up. I've gotten rid of a little bit of the cough. But day, I guess, three, four, and five uh, were really bad for coughs. Three was just like... The first day of the coughs was really bad. Uh, day four and day five, it was coughing stuff up, you know. And uh, I think it was day four or five. And it's, this is the gross part. Like you're coughing like really like chunks of phlegm and mucus, and <clears throat> that's that's not good, not good at all. And then today, I don't again. I don't know what day it is. This is day five or something. Um, I was talking. I was talking to a nurse through on the phone about it, and uh, she was just like, "If you have a patio or whatever, and you can go outside and get some fresh air, uh, it's just it's good for you to get fresh air. So if you're not sleeping or whatever, just go outside." So I'm going outside. I'm gonna go to go sit on my little deck down there. Maybe turn the fire on, and uh, that's that's what I'm gonna go do. Okay, I'm gonna go down there. <coughs> so I don't so I don't even have the cushions on the couch. I'm just out here sitting. Yeah, see? It's nice, right? Yeah, Mary's, Mary just took Harley to work. And uh, she'll be staying home. She'll be staying home tomorrow, which is when you guys will be seeing this. Uh, just to make sure I think I'm doing okay. And she's still not feeling 100%. Uh, the, so the... The nurse lady, when I was talking to her about COVID, so you have to quarantine, of course, for seven days. Um, <coughs> and uh, she was just like, usually, like, sniffles after you test positive should be gone. But if it's past 10 days, you should phone or go in and get it checked. Uh, cough. Uh, cough can be, can be two, two to three weeks. 
and you can have that for two to three weeks so uh, just just be prepared now medication wise for me so you guys just like what what I what I took uh, well both Mary and I actually so we both like drank well, especially me I drank oh Mary did too I think an enormous amount of tea with honey just normal tea honey and I would drink that like it's going out of style I wouldn't even finish one big mug and I'd pretty much fill another one back up and just kind of sip on it just because for one it helped my throat and I think the honey just kind of helped soothe it which was nice uh, we were using like cough suppressants so like Halls uh, not not the Halls centers I tried one of those and I didn't it, it kind of made me feel like there was a stuff in my throat even worse than normal so just normal Halls uh, and then last but not least we were and and you guys you know if you ever get this this just kind of make your own decision um, uh, we were using uh, Dayquil Dayquil cough and cold for for the day and I would take that in the morning and I would take that in the afternoon and then at night I would take NyQuil so again cough and cold and mostly I took that just to uh, make sure it doesn't get burnt not burnt but warm um, to help me sleep because he just needed something to help <coughs> <coughs> help uh, just kind of knock you out and get you get you out and keep you there you know so that was my that was my medicine that I was taking um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go thought I'd put out an update I'm starting to feel a little better but definitely not not great uh, more resting I'll probably put a little pause again <clears throat> it'll be a little while before I start doing any more of the actual tech videos because I still need to get just get better so oh and I was taking multivitamins yeah so multivitamins and blueberries I ate a lot of blueberries because I like blueberries alright guys that's it uh, I'm gonna go Enjoy this little fire and just kind of relax. All right.